Okay. Hello, what's your name? Um, Jesse Burke. Hi. I'm Israeli, I'm just here for a week. I mean, I live in Israel. Okay, Literally. well, welcome to London. Thank you. Um, here we are at Hyde Park Corner, go for it. Okay, um, my views are not the regular Israeli or Jewish Orthodox views. Um, first of all, since they talked about Palestinians, very really problem. What we need is one state, meaning giving every Palestinian citizenship, both in the Gaza Strip and in the West Bank. All of them citizenship, so they can all vote. Once we have that, most, almost all our problems will be gone. Now, we do have to agree that since about half the people be Palestinians, Jews should still be able to come to Israel because we had a Holocaust and we need to a place of refuge. But at the same time, it will be a country that everyone can live in. Okay? Most of the Palestinians I speak to, I speak to them all the time. They're absolutely fine with it. They're absolutely fine with it. The Jews still have a problem with it, but that can be solved. Therefore, we will not have an apartheid. We will not have two states, which is a problem because we already have two million Palestinians inside the Jewish state now. And people want the law of return. So you have one Palestinian state, another Palest Jewish state, which has many millions of Palestinians. So there's no point for that. One state solution, not three, not two, not four. We can all get along. The Palestinians that live in Israel, we get along very well with, at least I do personally. So that should be solving that. If I comment something about the argument going on there. Yeah, yeah, what is the argument? Tell me. Okay, the argument seems to be between a Christian gentleman and a Muslim one. The Christian gentleman is claiming that Islam is a pagan religion. No, Islam is not a pagan religion. That's an Islamophobic claim. That is not true. Um, obviously, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam had a period where they're pagans. Jews came from the Canaanites, Christians mostly from the Roman, Greco Roman world, and Islam had an Arab pre Islamic state. They call it Jahiliya. So they were pagans before they became Muslims. That's true about all religions, not only the Abrahamic ones, also lots of there's nothing um, claim. The other claim was that inside the Quran, so there was an argument about what the Quran says about Jews and Christians. Because the Muslim uh, Christian quoted a real quote from the Quran saying that if you save one person, you've saved the whole world. And if you kill one person, you've killed the whole world. We have in our Mishnah, in our Talmud, an exact same quote. It's just in Hebrew, not in Arabic. It's exact same. I don't know who came first, I don't matter. I mean, Mishnah came a few hundred years first, but it doesn't matter. That's not the issue of who took from who. It is important, this idea, which is similar to the Golden Rule, which exists in Buddhism, in Islam, in atheism, in every major religion, of course, Christianity. So that is true. And the other guy says, but what about where it says that every Christian and Muslim Jew is supposed to kill in the Quran? Well, the Quran does not say that at all. There is part of Hadith, not the Sahih one, who claims something like that. But in the end of days, you look behind the rock and see if there's a Jew and say, look, but that's... End of days is crazy in all religions. All religions, basically, the end of days is that God's going to appear with Jesus and say, you guys are right, all the others are wrong. If you don't accept us, you die. Don't worry about the end of the year, days. But I mean, do, you, do you have end of days in your books? Yes, Judaism has end of days. Really? Yes, it's not so far different from the Christian and Muslim. Um, the Jews are going to be exalted. The uh, kings of the non-Jews would come and serve Jews and other things that I disagree with completely. But the end of days is fantasy. It's, it's always something that's going to come. It never actually comes. The so Messiah comes, is a false Messiah. The Messiah is always something that's going to come. So what, look, in Israel today, the far right-wing extremists of Jews, right, and I have plenty of them in my family, far right extremists. I have ter Jewish terrorists in my family. My own nephews in prison. And in the far right evangelicals that come from the Bible Belt in America, a little bit from the UK now, they get along very well. Now they don't have the same end of days. In evangelical Christianity, when Jesus comes, there'll be 240 million, 240,000 Jews who accept Jesus, and the rest of them will perish. In the end of the day of Jews, all religions will realize that Judaism will go correct. But that doesn't matter because everyone realizes that is for the end of days, it's not happening now. And they get along and they build outposts, which I'm against, because first we have to agree that everyone has citizenship, and then everyone should be able to live everywhere.
but till then, it's not. The problem is the occupation we talk about. It's not the occupation of land. America took the land from Native Americans. So did Canada. Australia took it from where I'm from originally. The Aborigines. Every country, there were people there before. There were Celts before here, and then they came the Anglo, the Saxons, the Danes. They had the Crusaders, the Romans were here. That's not the issue. The issue is everyone who lives today in the UK, almost, has citizenship. Also in America, besides Puerto Rico, which is a problem. In Israel, we have millions of people without citizenship, living in the West Bank, in East Jerusalem, in Gaza, even in the Golan Heights. You cannot have millions of people living that they don't get proper health into it. Their law is different towards them. I know, because I told you, I have my family Jewish terrorists. Muslim terrorists have many more problems, and the law is different to them. And of course, they cannot vote to the parliament. So the, so the representations of Arabs, for whom I vote, by the way, in Islam, is very small. The 13 seats out of 120 in the, in the, in the legislative branch. If all Palestinians voted, including Gaza and West Bank, there would be about 40, 45 percent. But what? But Israel is at the moment controlling that area. West Bank. The West Bank is a bit of a yes. C for sure they're controlling. They're also controlling B and A they go in there every day they I guess.